You want to see what life's like in my house? Life of vloggers? Let's go see. Vlog life! <laughs> he be editing, I be vlogging. Hey guys, so I just thought I'd check in. Uh, I'm sorry if the camera's a little bit wobbly, but I am actually walking up to my work just now because we've got a training course. Um, I've been practicing really hard on just focusing on what's going on now and not quite so much what's going to happen in, say, like tomorrow or the day after or the day after because I find. If I try and think too far ahead, that's when I get like my anxiety attacks and that's not healthy. So I'm still just taking one day at a time. Um, I've admitted to everybody around me that my depression is there and for the most part, most people have been quite understanding. I have had a few people comment, oh, you're just feeling a bit down, you'll get over it. It's not how depression works, guys. It's not just feeling down. It's not something that I'm going to snap out of quickly. I'm trying to... What's the best way to put it? I'm trying to completely change how my brain works. So that's the difficult part. Because I've had this for about, I want to say eight, nine years now. And I thought I got over it and then went into denial about the fact that I hadn't gotten over it. And I've now come to terms with the fact that I am still suffering with, the, with this depression and the anxiety that goes with it. It's kind of, it's been quite a relief to be able to get some of it off my chest and share it with you. I'm sorry if the traffic's a bit noisy, but you know, it is morning and people are going to work and doing the shopping and... I'm just walking along talking to you, but I guess I'm just kind of waffling now really. I guess the main thing is to know if any of you guys are suffering with depression, anxiety, panic attacks, anything like that, you're not alone. I know it feels like you are. And it feels like that nobody understands, especially if you've got an underlying illness as well. I mean, obviously I've got my dystonia. That doesn't help when I'm having a bad day and I'm all like twitchy and my face is sore from twitching and my arms are sore from twitching. Those are really bad days. But I'm trying to think that Mother Nature wouldn't have given me all of these things if she didn't think I could handle them. So I'm going to handle them and I'm just going to keep sharing my little journey with you. So I'm trying to find joy in the small things. Like this morning, yeah, it's my day off, I've got a training course, but it means I can put on some normal clothing I've got normal clothes on today, looking all pretty, and i got some makeup on, and I can just go enjoy my walk, although it's a bit grey, I'm say it's a bit grey, but hey ho, and then I'm going to go home, and my husband's home, and we're going to, now this is going to sound really weird, this is something I really enjoy doing and nobody else is going to understand it. We're going to go do a food shop. Now food shopping for me is kind of like a saving grace because I get to look at what I'm going to fuel my body with 
and obviously because I've changed my diet so much it's a really exciting thing for me and then I'm gonna go home and do some coloring in my coloring book which I know sounds really strange but I found that when you're suffering with you know certain things it's brilliant to go back to basic and just if you want to do a bit of coloring do a bit of coloring if you want to go and do a bit of hula hooping do a bit of hula hooping if you've got something that makes you happy do it don't let anybody tell you that it's like childish or stupid i mean i'm 33 and i'm gonna go and color in the coloring book all right it's the skulls and you know quite gothic because that's what i'm into but it makes me happy it makes me feel good and it stops me thinking so for now I'm going to sign off I might catch up with you guys a bit later on today in fact I might show you some of my colouring there you go but for now I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this walk and I'll catch you all very soon okay that's work training done uh, it's about half past one so I'm going to go home I'm going to grab the hubby and we're going to get to Tesco's and then we're just going to chill out for the rest of the day because uh, we've got a rest day so yeah looking forward to cracking open in cracking open in cracking open the new book and just enjoying the rest of the day and enjoying my day off tomorrow and then go back to work on Friday. Should be good. So you have to excuse me, the weather's gone a little bit chilly. So I am a little bit chilled. I've done my jacket up. So I think I'm gonna swap to a jumper. Because yeah, I like to be warm. But I can go home, go around, get the shopping in, and then get some food because I'm really hungry. Because all I've had is my shreddies this morning and a packet of um, the naked something caramel bite thing which is really quite nice um, I had them halfway through my training course you can see everybody else are like really hungry so yeah I shall catch you guys in the next clip bye for now so I'm back home and I've done the food shop and for reasons that I have got no clue whatsoever my depression decided it was going to give me a reality check and smack me around the face while I was with hubby that's the truth of it you can be really happy uh, for no reason or like just feel really good and then you can blink and your depression can just turn around and go, no, you're going to be in a bad mood. I've got no idea why, it just happened. I thought it was because I was hungry, so I had something to eat, uh, it didn't make any difference. So, yeah, I've come home, we've put the food away, I'm actually going to make myself a nice hot drink, and I'm going to sit and possibly do a bit of my colouring in my little colouring book because I think that would do me good sorry camera moved but yeah so there we go that's the reality of it you can be happy one minute and the next minute you can turn around and have a face like a donkey's ass. not saying that I have a face that looks like a donkey's ass, but yeah so I'm going to check out now I'm going to go and hopefully try and cheer up for the rest of the afternoon because it is quarter past three and I'm thinking, nice hot drink, a bit of colouring and snuggles with a hubby will help. Thanks for listening. This was Keeping It Real episode 2. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye for now guys.